Okay, uh, this is going to be the lesson on how to use labels and value labels in uh, SPSS or PASW. It's a pretty pretty simple thing to do. Uh, so let's assume we have input our data um, from um, some paper and pencil study that we've done, and we've labeled uh, these things, uh, participant ID, sex, reconnection condition, reconnection and aggression. And we have these numbers. You know, we can't write in male and female. We have to give them a number. Uh, but when we do our analyses, we don't necessarily want it to say there are ten ones and, and, and eight twos. We'd really like it to say that there are ten men and eight women, or that there are you know, nine people in the rejection condition and nine people in the inclusion condition, rather than saying there are nine negative ones and nine positive ones. So if we go over to variable view, we can click on something called values. Values says we're going to use a particular number and then we're going to give it a label. So for sex, let's have the number one. We wanted the number one to represent men and the number two to represent uh, women. And let's we can do the same thing for rejection. We want um, negative one to be rejection and one to be inclusion. And this will differ depending on your study. We could have had one be rejection and negative one be rejection uh, or inclusion. We could have had 32 be rejection and 118 be inclusion. This is simply up to whatever you choose uh, to make it. Um, uh, and if we do uh, reconnection, uh, we could do, once again, negative one is uh, no, uh, no reconnection. And a one is reconnection. Now, if we run, let's say, a frequency distribution now on sex, it's going to say that we have, once it comes up, um, it's going to say that we have nine men and nine women. Uh, however, had we not had this done, if we had removed these and run the exact same frequency analysis on sex, it would have said there were nine ones and nine twos. So you can see why this would be uh, valuable rather than running, let's say, an independent sample t-test on, um, on aggression and finding out that... Um, that although the groups don't differ because it's greater than that, that that ones had an average of 2.7 and twos had an average of 2.5, it would be a lot nicer if it said men had an average of 2.7 and women had an average of, of 2.5. The only other thing that you can do here in variable view that's kind of helpful is you can have labels. So you're limited in, in what you can write in the name section, um, but in labels you're not. So rather than having it say aggression, we can say amount... We can have it say, uh, amount of hot sauce allocated. And so now, uh, when we do, let's say, that same uh, t-test, um, it said instead of aggression, it says amount of hot sauce allocated. So now we know that we're talking about the amount of the hot sauce allocated rather than just a particular generalized measure of aggression. This is basically uh, the lecture on uh, values and labels.